Hey, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll see the progress on our leaf cutter ant colonies. If you're new around here, I'm an ant keeper and we keep ant colonies. I just captured some leaf cutter ant queens to start some new colonies. So, this is Queen A1, the, our first queen. She does have a lot of eggs and some fungus too. Oops. Let's try to focus here. Yeah. That's a big pile of eggs. And that's a lot of fungus. She's doing very well. You can see on her back there that she still have a piece of her wing. I don't know if she's going to remove it, but that doesn't matter a lot now. She's doing fine. And let's take a run. A look around here. Yeah, it's fine. Her setup's clean. She managed to make a pile of debris here. She cleaned her setup. That's very good. So, let's go to another one. This is Queen A2. She's dead. Her setup wasn't the best. The plaster, as you can see, was very liquid. She may be drowned there or something else happened. So, yeah. So this is Queen A3. Let's take a closer look. She still have the wings. That's weird, but that's okay. Some of the queens don't remove the wings. But once the queens start digging, if they have the wings, it will be very bad for them because it will get in the way. But since it's not a natural setup, she's not digging. I made the setup for her. She doesn't have to worry with it. So that's okay. Maybe she will remove the wings later, but it would be cool to have a queen with a colony with wings, right? That's a new thing for me. But let's take a closer look here. That's her fingers and her eggs. We have some, egg, some eggs on the wall of the container and some of them on the fungus, but we can't see from this angle. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah, it, it's quite hard to see through the plastic, but there is a big amount of fungus and a lot of eggs, so it's a good sign this queen is doing well to you. And you can see some humidity, humidity on the setup. That's good because the fungus needs a high humidity to grow. So I think we don't need to water the setup right now because there's a lot of humidity here and we might throw more humidity, more than the fungus can handle if we throw some water there. So let's go to another queen. This one is Queen A4. She also has the wings as the A3 queen. And she's also doing well with the, the fungus. You can see eggs there too. She's caring for the eggs. But her setup seems to be a little dry. So I'm going to add some water here. I'll use a syringe so I can control the amount of water that I want to put in the container. It's a little bit hard. Yeah, got the lid off. Let's put some water. good, don't need a lot of water, 
just enough to make the setup humid. Let's go to another queen. This here is queen a5. She is doing very well. You can see that her fingers has a like it's like a bed for their eggs. That's a very good sign. Because if you watch my videos from the, the last season, some years ago, not the last season, but some years ago, you can see there that the queens that succeeded made the setup like this. They made a, a, a bed for the eggs in this shape. So I guess this is the good practices to make things right. So I have very high hopes for Queen A5. She doesn't seem to be agitated. She doesn't seem to be stressed. That's very good. And she has a nice setup there. Let's pin it a little bit. Oops. For another angle here. She's doing very well. Oops. Oh well, she's putting an egg. Well, I couldn't see there, but maybe she laid an egg. Oh my god. I've never seen that. I'll have to check it on the, on the computer later what happened. But I think that this queen just laid an egg right before our eyes. And she used the fingers to make it stick and, and be easier to take. She really did that? I don't know. Looking closely, the queen really laid an egg. She opened a section of her abdomen and laid a little egg, placing it in the fingers. This here is queen a6, the new one. If you remember, the last queen a6 died in the first week. So we put, place it in this container, a new queen. And she managed to have a fungus and some eggs. We didn't know there if she had a fungus because I used the same container from the, the last queen that died. And I found this queen on the pool. So uh, maybe she lost the fungus while she was drowning on the water. That's very likely to happen. And if we as we change the container, she used the fungus from the other queen. That's very good. And she's doing well now. She has a smaller fungus than the other queens because she started later. But she still have a very good setup right there. I just think that she needs a little bit of water because the setup seems to be a little dry. And you can see that she digged a lot. It's a lot of debris there. So there's a little bit of a mess, but it's okay. Let's give her a little bit of water. So she seems to be a little bit stressed there. Just put some water here. Nice. I'm, I'm back with the Queen A5 here, so I can give her some water too. Place some drops on the container here so she can drink if she wants. Oh, 
coloquei. Let's go to Queen A7. This right here is Queen A7. She have a smaller fingers than the other queens, but it's still fine. She's still doing well. Let's take a closer look here. You can see the fingers and some eggs. The queen seems to be healthy and everything seems to be in order that's a, that's good let's go to another queen this right here is queen a8 she made a mess in the container you can see plaster everywhere no walls are very dirty and hard to see through but she's doing very well you can see the fungus is very big and there is a lot of eggs Let's try to spin the container to see if we can see a little bit more. So, uh, now it's better. You can see there is a very big bed of fungus and a good amount of eggs. Oh, that's very good. So, there she is. A very big fungus, a lot of eggs, the queen is healthy, everything seems to be good. But for the container, that is very dirty. Uh, I'll try to remove the lid to place some water. I hope I don't mess this thing up. I'll not try to remove the plaster that is there because it's probably going to fall off on top of the fingers and the queen is very stressed now so I need to be quick here you can see the sound you can hear the sound hear the sound can you hear the sound She's very angry. Oh my. Oh my. Hey, little girl. It's fine. It's fine. Well, that was a bit stressing for me too oh my this here is queen a10 she's the queen that had the broken leg um, that was probably the decisive factor that killed her she was probably too injured to start a colony she had a very good start she had fingers and eggs but she didn't survive this right here is Queen A11. She's also doing very well, but she removed only half of her wings, only on her left side. It's okay, but that's weird. Let's take a closer look at the fingers. You see, she also made a bed where the, the, all the eggs are laid. That's very good. She has a lot of eggs. Her setup is a little bit hard to see through. But that's okay too. Let's just add some water now.
this right here. It's a mask queen. Queen A12. She's also doing fine. A good amount of fingers, a good amount of eggs. She seems to be healthy. Let's watch her. That's it for this video, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more videos like this one, bye!